Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, I'm Patrice, and we're starting out a little bit differently today. Today I am simply making a quick design for uh, our Cricut Summer Camp because I will not be there and they need something a little special. And of course I want to add some bling, so I'm just going to do a quick a quick video showing you guys what I'm about to do. I am going to simply bling out their design a little bit. Now we're going to be using a 12 by 12 mat and that's just what I usually like to use especially when I'm going to be using Cricut Design Space and if you guys are not familiar with the software that I'm using right now this is Silhouette Studio and I am using the business edition of Silhouette Studio which will allow me to export this file outside of Silhouette Studio so that I can upload it inside of my Cricut Design Space software. And so for us to begin, I'm going to select file and I need to bring the file in. So I'm going to select merge. Now I got this file from Google and this is the logo of the school that I will be, uh, well not me, but some of my counterparts will be conducting the cricket camp because I am not there. So the way that it came in, the size is 4.367 by 6.352. And I am just going to make this a tad bit larger because it's actually going to end up going in the center of the name of the school, but I'm not going to show that part because that the name of the school, we're going to be using vinyl. And so for this design, we're also going to be using vinyl and we're going to be using just a little bit of bling because I don't want to use too much of my bling. So I am going to just make it a tad larger. And so this will go in the center of the design. And so, if you notice, this file is a PNG. It came in as a PNG file, which is great for when you're printing things out. Uh, you can also cut. However, if you cut this in a Cricut, it's just going to cut around the C. It's not really going to cut how you probably want it to cut. So what we're going to do first, because it is a PNG, I'm going to trace it because I want to kind of break this up. So in order for us to trace it, we're going to head over here to the left panels and I'm going to select the trace panel option and once that opens up I am simply going to select select trace area once you select trace area you'll be able to highlight the part of the designs that you want to trace and so I want to trace all of the design and now we have solid fill for me this looks good you can adjust the thresholds and if you want, but mine, I, I think this is going to come out perfect. So what I want to do next is I just want to select trace. And once I select trace, it's going to trace the design for us. And so let's go ahead and move the original out of the way. The original is still intact because we didn't do a trace and detach. We just simply selected the entire image and hit trace and so it traced all of the different parts of the design for us but right now this came in all together so if I move it around it's still all together and you can't ungroup it so what you're going to have to do is release the compound path and that's going to break all of those separate parts of the design it's going to break that all up so I'm going to right click and I'm just going to select release compound path now that I released compound path, if you noticed, originally we had just one box around the logo. Right now we have about three boxes around the logo and that will represent all of the three different sections of the logo. Okay, so I only want to worry about the center part of the logo. And so I'm going to just go ahead and change the color. I'm going to head up here to the drop down color options, but you can also access the fill panel here if you want to do that as well. So I'm just going to turn it red because for the inside, we are just going to be using vinyl. So they're going to be using vinyl. I am not going to bling this completely out. However, we can bling that C out if we want it to at this point. And then I'm going to remove that inner layer of the C 
for the logo. Uh -oh, not that one. Let me make it a little bit larger so that we can grab it. So I just want to take this inner portion and I just want to delete it because I'm not going to do anything with it. So we're going to delete that. And then the outer layer, we want to turn that into rhinestones. So I am just going to head down to the bottom of the panel list and select the rhinestone panel. Now that the rhinestone panel is selected, I just want to create an outline of what we have here. I don't want to fill it in. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select 10 SS rhinestones because those are the stones that I left with my counterparts and we're going to select edge. Now that we have the edge selected, this is what they're going to be placing because y'all, the bling was a hit at the last high school and so I just know that they're going to love the bling as well. So as far as the spacing, I'm just going to select or change the spacing to 0 0.015 and it might already be changed, but 0 0.039 is the default spacing and as you guys saw, those rhinestones got a little bit closer and so I'm going to change the rhinestone fill to black and I'm going to remove that outline around it. And it's not really an outline, but it kind of is. And so that is the cut line. So the red, the red outline that you see is the cut line. All right. So right now I already see where there's some rhinestone touching and there's a little bit of extra space there. So what I want to do is I want to release those rhinestones. So I'm going to select release rhinestones. And once they're released, I'll be able to adjust them because you don't want any overlapping rhinestones at all all right so i'm just going to maximize my screen and then i am going to click onto this one right here just move it over a little bit and then i'm going to move the other one that's on the side of it over a bit as well and then right here where we have a little bit of a gap I'm going to see if I can fit another rhinestone there. And so to do that, I'm just going to move this to the side and to duplicate it, you can right click and select duplicate, or you can just press down. If you have a MacBook, you would press down the option button and click it, right click it and drag over. Or if you have a PC, you will press your alt button. And so I'm just going to move this over just a tad so that we can fit that in there and you don't want them touching at all. Now these are very close, but I usually uh, will move a lot of the space in between my rhinestones. I do like a uh, tight fitted rhinestone, so I know that this is going to be just fine. So now that we have everything set up the way that we want it to be set up, I am going to head up to the top and we're going to click the or click the panels drop down and then I'm going to select select by color and now that we have select by color open it should give me a fill color and I can just select the black so you can either do by line or by fill we're going to do by fill and our all of those rhinestones are selected I'm going to right click I'm going to select group and then once I select group, I'm going to right click again and then I'm going to select make compound path. And so now when I get ready to open this up in Cricut, it will be one, one image. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to just reduce this down and we are going to, I'm going to leave this logo on the side because I am going to create a, another cuttable logo that will not have any rhinestones just for anybody who doesn't want rhinestones. But once I right click, I will select, I will go to file, save selection, save to hard drive. And of course, because I'm using rhinestones, I need to make sure the size is perfect. So I'm just going to put kernels, SS10, and then we're going to do 7.412 wide by 
5.148 high. Okay, and then I am just going to save this to my documents and then we are going to save this as an SVG. Now we're going to open, it, open this up inside of Cricut because uh, I need to make sure that it opens up in Cricut for the person who will be cutting the design. So I'm going to select OK. And now we will get ready to head over to Cricut. So now we've made it over to Cricut Design Space and we're going to open up a new project. And once our canvas comes up, we are going to head over to the left and we're going to select upload. Once we select upload, we need to actually upload that image. And so here it is right here. And okay, it looks pretty good. We're going to select upload here. And let's add it to our canvas. All right, now that it has been added, y'all, this is a miracle because it came in at the correct size. Now, if you ever bring in a rhinestone design into Cricut Design Space, you want to make sure the size is correct. And so right here, I see it's, it's 7.412 inches wide by 5.148 inches high. So this is exactly what we want it to be. And if you don't know, remember when we saved it, I actually put the size over, or I put the size in the file name. And if you look over to the right in the layers column, you will see that we have it exactly what it's supposed to be. 7.412 wide by 5.148 high. So this is a miracle but you have to make sure that it comes in correctly. So every single time you bring in a rhinestone design, sometimes it will happen like this for you. And a lot of times it will come in sized incorrectly and you have to manually put that size in. So we don't have to do anything today. Everything looks good. I am going to go ahead and ungroup this just so that I can separate it. But either way, it's going to... Uh, go on to two different mats anyway because it's two different colors so I didn't really have to worry about that but this is what we have and this is the design it looks really really good so I am actually going to save this uh, file and we're going to um actually just going to save it here and then they will be able to pull it up when they get to the school they'll be able to pull it up inside of their design space so this is awesome and yeah, so if you want more in-depth tutorials or maybe even a class, I do offer rhinestone classes. Check out my website, Craftable Things. I offer them once per month. Follow me on Facebook where I usually announce when the next class is going to be. In addition, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and of course, follow me on threads. And if you are not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button. But y'all, we're pretty much done. Everything looks good. And I can go ahead and get this to my other Cricut camp leaders. So thank you all so much for watching. This was a really quick one, I think. Until next time, y'all.